Welcome to Ask Exight. I'm Tim Bushnell with Experts Atometry. And today's question comes from Steve. And Steve asks, can I compensate my GFP positive cells using FITC labeled beads? Now that's a great question, Steve. If we think about what the third rule of compensation states, it in, it's indicates that the compensation control must be identical to the experimental sample. And this means the identical fluorochrome and the appropriate settings. So we don't be we don't change our voltages once we set our compensation. That's just a no-no. But the other important part is it has to be identical um, from a fluorochrome perspective. GFP and FITSI have very different characteristics. For example, GFP has a maximal uh, emission about 509 nanometers, where FITSI is more into the 519 nanometers. If you were to take a look at a spectral viewer, you would see that they have very different characteristics. Even though we read them in the same channel, um, on, our on our instrument, and we're reading them typically in like a 530-30 bandpass filter off of a 488 excitation. They're very different spectrally. This is also important to think about when you're using tandem dyes. You can't use one lot of tandem dye um, to compensate another uh, lot, even though they're the same fluorochrome. They need to be identical. So be careful when you set up your compensation to ensure that you have the same colors, and by the same colors I mean the same fluorochrome for your control in your experimental sample. That's an, uh, thanks for another Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your best flow cytometry practices right here with your friends in flow, Tim and Team Excite.